Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another ISO 72 video. In today's video, I'm back with another engine. I'm here with Lewis Morris. Lewis, how are we? Yeah, all good, thank you, mate. What about yourself? Mm -hmm. I'm great, thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on the channel, my friend. And uh, so am I right in saying you're a 21-year-old featherweight who's 5-0? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, great. 5 Great. And so if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do need like the video. And let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with a question which I always like to start off with. And that is, why did you start boxing? Um, well, really, it was because I was just a hyper, hyperactive child. My mum took me to um, a kickboxing class when I was like four. Mm -hmm. And I, I just loved it then. So I got into it a little bit when I was about four, into kickboxing. Mm -hmm. Then went into a boxing gym for the first time when I was about seven. So I've been doing it for ages and then I was competing with kickboxing for a long time from the age of seven onwards, seven, eight. And then as soon as I was a chance to turn over and do amateur boxing, I did, which was at 11 years old. Okay. And I've been at it ever since, to be fair. Loved it. Mm -hmm. That's great so, stuff. Yeah. And so do you remember what happened in your first amateur fight? Yeah, my first amateur fight. It was against, I um, can't remember what Jimmy was from, but it was a kid called Daniel Danks. Okay. And I stopped him in, in in the second round. So, yeah. I did fight him in a skills bout as well before that went when, when I was 10. Mm -hmm. So, we had a skills bout. And that, that was all right. But I, I got told I had to take it a little bit light on him in the skills bout. Mm -hmm. And then we had our first fight against each other as well. Which, obviously, like I said, I stopped him in the second round. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You didn't take it light on him then, my friend. No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Different then. Yes. Great, and so throughout your whole kind of amateur period, what was your biggest achievement? Yeah, I won a few mid mid midland titles, and that's mm -hmm. about it, really. I, I suffered with a big, big injury in the amateurs, and it let, it, it let me down quite a bit. I won a few East Midland Box Cups and stuff like that, but I won a few, a few, a few midland titles, didn't do too much as an amateur. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I had a big injury, and it stopped me for 28 months. I was out of box for a long time, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, and so why did you kind of come back to boxing after that injury Do you, was that light always burning inside of you to come back say again mate you just lagged, lagged a little bit when you said that sorry, sorry there mate uh, so uh, yeah would you say that the what, what was the reason for you coming back to boxing was the light always burning inside of you to come back yeah definitely see I didn't think I would box again so when it first happened my, my, my shoulder popped out while I was having a boxing fight mm -hmm. so as you know, I was in a mid, mid in the Midland final with a kid called Louis Poff he's a full punch shoulders popped out so I didn't think I'd box again especially after all the scans and stuff I had on it but yeah I I couldn't wait to get back in there as soon as I got told I was late to train again I was just happy to get in the boxing gym again really mm -hmm. training didn't think I'd box didn't didn't feel the best at first, but then it come back, come back, and felt good again after after I got into it, and I was just ready to go. I was about seventeen when I got back into it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's fair. And so, would you say that you were kind of maybe a little bit more cautious after after that, or would you say that you were just kind of just trying to go straight back into it? Well, my first fight back was. Um, in, in, in the championship, so I didn't really like have any warm up fights. Mm -hmm. So I went straight in there, boxed um, Scott Melvin. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was that that was the first one back. He beat me. He was a good kid. Scott is a really mm -hmm. good lad. So yeah, but we went back in there after twenty eight months, and he was my first fight. So I was quite happy with him, and he was a good kid. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. And then once, after that fight, he improved. Kept improving then because the other English went. That was a good first fight back. Bear in mind, I hadn't boxed into school, boy, at that point. So I went from one and a half minute to three minute rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's a big difference, but I, I, I think once I come back, I had a positive record from from when I first started anyway. But from the comeback, I lost my first one, and then I won about four or five in a row. Okay. So I, was, I had a positive record, then I went pro. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. That's fair, that's fair. And so what was the kind of main deciding factor on why you turned pro when you did? Covid, to be honest, I wanted to go into senior elites. Mm -hmm. Um, that that was the plan to do senior elites, then switch over. Mm -hmm. But um, as soon as that convened, I think it got cancelled a week before mm -hmm. senior elites, and I still wanted to train in the boxing. So during Covid, sitting around there, thinking, I'm just start, I, I don't really want to stick around in the amateurs. Don't really suit my style. So I'll switch pro, and it suits me way more. And so it's just yeah, it's really good for me. To be fair, I'm happy I made a decision. The right decision, definitely. Mm -hmm. 
That's great, and of course things are going very well for you in the professional game at the moment, of course I'm beaten, and uh, so out of these five professional fights you've had, which one would you say you've performed your best in? I'd possibly say, I'd say my last fight, if I'm honest, my, my last fight I was up, I didn't really get hit with anything stupid, um, in terms of opponents, weren't fighting much back, but typical journeyman I think, mm. but in turn, I liked the way I went to the body. I had him hurt a few times. He covered up well, as journeymen do. Yeah. We know what the Detroit, that's yeah. their point yeah. of surviving. But I think if he was anyone else in there, it would have got stopped. But Jake Pollard, he only been stopped twice in four forty fights. So he's a tough guy, really. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Definitely. And so would you say that you're kind of always improving then? 100%, yeah, definitely. Well, I'm t like, like you said, I'm 21, so I've got plenty of time, especially um, the way I'm out of featherweight, so I've got plenty of time to improve, 100%. Mm -hmm, definitely, and so, I mean, you've been, like you said, around the kind of whole fighting sport for a w long time now, and so what would you mm -hmm. say is your main motivation at the moment? Just myself, my, I just want to go as far as I can. I want titles, obviously, Midland title, hopefully that should be happening end of this year, that's the plan, really. End of this year, start next year, that's the plan for that one. And just doing well, I want to make it. I want to be. I want this to be my full time job because I'm still working. So I want this to be my full time job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's Definitely, a, that's fair. That's a great motivation. And so yeah. you've got a upcoming fight coming March twenty fourth. And so how's preparations been going for that? I'm going well so far. To be fair, I've been sparring, I've sparred a few times now. I've been doing well in spars. Sparring heavy lads as well. I ain't sparred anyone my own weight okay. this camp yet because. Mm -hmm. I was struggling to find people to spar me at my own weight, what's annoying, but mm. so I'm sparring people who are like super lightweight, yeah. lightweight, and I'm doing good with them. I'm doing like six to eight rounds with super lightweights and so then impressive. doing a few with, with a few lads in the gym after, so yeah, definitely going well. Mm -hmm. That's great. And so, do you happen to know your opponent yet? Uh, no, I haven't heard anything about an opponent yet. Hopefully, I don't really want to stick with the journeyman route, fighting journeyman after journeyman. I want someone a little bit better. But it all just depends on what you can find as well, I think, mm -hmm. especially at this stage. So, yeah. Of course, of course. And so for anybody who might be wanting to come and watch this upcoming fight of yours and haven't watched any of your fights previous, what would you say makes yourself interesting as a fighter? Fun to watch, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, I know I can box on the back foot, I can box on the front foot. You're going to see a bit of everything when mm -hmm. when you watch my fight. I'll box off the dark, I'll go safe, poor, box my hands up, box from down. And I'm very good at landing my shots and not getting hit. So, yeah, mm -hmm, always in a good fight. Mm -hmm, great. And so, I mean, you are, right, like like you said, right at the start of your career, you said the area title might be coming by the end of this year, but how far do you yeah, believe I... you can go? There you go. How far do you believe you can go? You don't go all the way. I don't think there's any point being in this sport if you don't think that. You know what I mean? Like, a British title is something I really want, minimum. Mm -hmm. Minimum is a British title. I love that belt. But I can go all the way. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Great. We've got to stick at it, man. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And so, okay, I'll leave with this final question, which I always like to ask. You've got a little bit of a platform here. Would you like to shout anything out? Shout out to all my sponsors, definitely first. Paolo's Commercial Interiors, In Focus Resources, GS Metals, Chaos Carpentry, Dynamic Movement Therapy, MTM Money's Demotive, CCDF, Charlie Charlie Char Char Dean Board Roofing. All sponsors, man, help me out massively. I do so many things with them, so yeah, just smash it for me. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Good. Yeah. And shout out to everyone who does come to my fights already and ones who are going to come to the future because without them, it couldn't happen because mm -hmm. ticket sales are a massive thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Okay, well, thank you very much for doing this, mate. Maybe a little bit further along down the line, we can come back and do another one. Yes, definitely, 100%. Mm -hmm. Great. 100%. Great, okay, and so if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so, like the video if you're doing, like the video, and thanks for watching.